Welcome to the John and Heidi Show podcast. John and Heidi. Here's John and Heidi. Today is a special day, Heidi. Do you know what today is? What is today, John? I thought you'd never ask. It is Thursday, the 8th day of June. It is World Pet Memorial Day, World Brain Tumor Day, World Oceans Yikes. Day, uh, National Upsy Daisy Day, National Name Your Poison Day, and National Best Friends Day. Aww. You're my best friend. We can hang out today. What do you think? <laughs> we hang out every day. Oh, that's right. Because every day is Best Friends Day. Uh, it's also a Thursday, which means we have a Dear John letter. And I'm excited to actually visit about this. A uh, young lady reached out about uh, having a gender reveal party. Okay. And uh, wondering, because she wants to, her husband doesn't want to, wondering if maybe we, and when I say we, I think that she also means you, listeners, have some good ideas on how to do this, because she doesn't think that he doesn't like the party, she just doesn't like, he doesn't like the ones that they've been to. Okay. So, anyway, we're going to see if we can help her out. And you can chime in as well. Facebook.com slash John and Heidi Show. What a year. With prices on everything going up, it's more important than ever to have a better credit card. Some people use a credit card that's not a very good one. At BetterCreditCards.com, we offer a variety of credit card options to fit your needs. Whether you want a card to give you cash back or points and perks or a credit card to help you build your credit, we probably have it at BetterCreditCards.com. Give yourself a little credit. Credit. BetterCreditCards.com. That's BetterCreditCards.com. Now, surveys and studies and such brought to you by BetterCreditCards.com. Do you work on commission or in a large part of your pay? Is it based on bonuses? Performance-based pay is not good for your health. New study from Aberdeen Scotland Business School. Researchers there found that workers receiving performance-related pay are more susceptible to chronic stress, heart disease, high blood pressure, and mental health issues. These conditions could in turn lead to coping mechanisms like substance abuse uh, and and addiction. Uh, Study author wrote, Giving these findings, it's crucial for companies to consider the potential impact on their employees and establish policies that support their well-being. What do you think of all this stuff, Heidi? I don't know that I agree with that, but... Okay. I think a lot of it is going to depend on the person because there are some people who can do that and be as cool as right. a cucumber. There are other people. There are a that, lot of people. If you're good, that's what you prefer yeah, because yeah. you make so much. And more there's money. other people that are like, oh man, what happens if this and what happens yep. if that? So I don't know. I guess I didn't do the study, but there we go. Thanks for listening to the John and Heidi Show. Did you know you can allocate a percentage of your IRA to physical gold and silver with a tax-free rollover? You can put your IRA back on the gold standard. Genesis Gold IRA is the only IRA that can hold physical precious metals. Call now for your free gold and silver report and learn how to qualify for up to $10,000 in free silver. GenesisGoldIRA.com would like to help protect your IRA today with a simple phone call. Learn more and get the phone number at GenesisGoldIRA.com. That's GenesisGoldIRA.com. Did you know? Brought to you by GenesisGoldIRA.com. Heidi, did you know the, a word of warning uh, for you if you're one of those people who tend to leave wet towels on the floor and sometimes forget to grab a new p- toilet paper roll? One in five adults have ended a relationship over their partner's bad bathroom habits. A study of 2,000 British couples found that 70% are currently in the midst of a bathroom war with their significant other. We did, our first year of being married. Men said the biggest issue is how much hair their partner has left in the drain. (laughs) Women are most turned off by the mess and smells a boyfriend leaves behind in the toilet. So um, ours was the over and under toilet paper situation. I was an under guy. She was an over girl. And now we are an over family. Well, because I was correct. Yeah, she, she says she was right. Look uh, at the I patent. actually, way back in the day, we kind of put it on Facebook and said, what do you guys think? And everybody was siding with Heidi. <laughs> because they're smart. You never side with me. I'm going to love you no matter what. You don't side with Heidi, she will. <laughs> Build a wall and you are on the other side of it. All right. Uh, we don't know everything, but now we know this. Now, big screen, little screen, brought to you by insurancechicken.com. Lisa Rinney, is that how you say it? Rinna. Rinna is talking about her real housewives exit. So apparently she left, and uh, she's talking about why she left. 
And these may be waning days of the scripted cable blockbuster show, but nonetheless, the most watched entertainment show of the just completed 2022, early 2023 TV season was Yellowstone. Uh, says that that was the number one thing, and then uh, followed shortly behind that was NFL Monday Night Football. And uh, anyway, they they did pretty well, is what they're saying. So um, NCIS and FBI also did very well. I'm looking to see what else. Oh, an American Idol didn't do too bad. Hmm. And Kourtney Kardashian is throwing a little more fuel on the sibling rivalry. Apparently, she's trying to get her own show. So she's she's working on you know because. She was on the Keeping Up with Kardashians. Right. But so were all the others. She's like, no, I want my own show. So Okay. There you go. Heidi wants her own show as well. So instead of the John and Heidi show, I just really be don't. the Heidi show. <laughs> you don't? Okay. No. Big screen, little screen, brought to you by insurancechicken.com. How much do you pay for your cell phone every month? If it's more than 15 bucks, it's time for a Mintervention. Mint Mobile makes it affordable and easy to switch. Get a new phone or bring in your current phone. iPhones and Samsung phones both work well with Mint Mobile. At Mintervention.com, you can see the current special offers from Mint Mobile, offering premium wireless for just $15 a month. That's far less than most people are paying, just $15 a month. Learn more now at Mintervention.com. That's Mintervention.com. Now your scoop of the day comes your way, courtesy of BetterCreditCards.com. A study shows that men are more likely to hit on women who have a lower back tattoo. Hey, you have I a do. lower back tattoo. You're more likely to be hit on by men, according to this. I wonder why that is. is do you think it's just because people see that and they're like, oh, hey, I'm, I'm attracted to this lady and... You know, she might it be a little more depends on what that fun. lower back tattoo is, Yeah, I bet. that's true, I suppose, yeah. depending on what it is. And uh, Apple unveiled a new mixed reality headset at the 2023 Apple Worldwide Developers Conference. Did we get an invite to that again? We did not. We still, we got, again, snubbed. They keep they keep 29 uh, years in a row, address, we keep getting snubbed. CEO Tim Cook said the device, which blends virtual reality and augmented reality, is the first product you look through, not at. The technology allows users to overlay virtual images on live video of the real world. That's kind of interesting. Could be used to replace computers and televisions and gaming systems. Huh. So Apple Vision Pro, wait till we get to the price. How much do you think it is? Oh my gosh, I have no idea. I I don't keep up on that kind of stuff. Well, Apple Vision Pro, the company's biggest and riskiest new hardware launch in years, will cost you... $3,499. $3,499. Whoa. Yeah, it's, uh, it's, you might want to get the warranty on that one. The company says that once the user puts on the device, they can see apps directly projected in front of them. The device responds to a user's voice and hands and eyes as if your mind is guiding the experience. And uh, interestingly, the mixed reality headset will display the eyes of the user on the outside of the headset, a departure from how other headsets look and wow. function. Apple says that the reason for that is to allow users to feel like you're never isolated from the people around you. And you can see them and they can see you. It's going to be available early next year. Well, you're going to we'll get on certainly the, look forward you're going to, to get that. on the list for one of those? No. <laughs> if they sent you one, would you use it? No. Even if they sent it to you for no, free? No, I would not. I, I, $3,499 device? You'd be I, like, nope, don't I, want it. Why would I need that? I'm just asking. Would you? <laughs> Yeah. No, you would not. I would use, I'd, I'd use it everywhere. I have not. <laughs> you would I not. probably wouldn't, actually. I, I probably wouldn't even figure out how to use it. <laughs> Scoop of the day comes your way, courtesy of BetterCreditCards.com. InsuranceChicken.com wants to know, how much are you paying for your insurance? I know it seems like a hassle to switch to a different company, but if you can save a few bucks, 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 it's worth crossing the road to InsuranceChicken.com. We have several of the top insurance companies trying to earn your business. They do that by offering great insurance that is cheap, cheap, cheap. Okay, enough of the silly chicken puns. It's time to get serious about saving you money on your insurance at insurancechicken.com. That's insurancechicken.com. And it's time right now for Dear Dear John John Letters. Letters. I'm excited for today's Dear John Letter because I got an idea for this person and also I'm going to talk about the one that we went to. So Uh, Here's the Dear John letter. Dear John, my husband and I are expecting a child. I want to have a gender reveal party, but he does not want to do that. 
He thinks the fad is pretty lame. My sister did a great party for her two daughters. I think it would be nice to do one as well. I think he mainly disliked the way they did the party. They did a white cake that had pink inside. So you cut the cake almost like a wedding cake. Anyway, she said, I thought it was nice, but I'd like to come up with some ideas that he might like. Any fun ideas? Have you ever been to a gender reveal party? What is the best idea? Should we just skip the party? Signed, party or no party. So I would like to, first of all, thank everybody who has chimed in with some advice. Uh, That is amazing to me. The people who take a few minutes out of their day to go over to our Facebook page and chime in. We post the Dear John letter early every week so you have an opportunity. And I... One of the things that I feel really bad, what I should probably go on there and read their answers, they're always way better than mine. But then I would feel bad because I'm stealing your answers. <laughs> so uh, we don't do that on the radio, but but I certainly do appreciate anybody who does chime in with advice at facebook.com slash John and Heidi show. But first of all, Heidi, what do you think? First of all, should they have or should they not? Well, I think they need to agree. Yeah, I think they should come up with something Again, I agree with her. Where you I don't think want to she, make him go yeah. to something like that. But that I would think be the reason, miserable for everybody involved. I think the reason that he doesn't want to do it is he's like, okay, it's been done. Your sister did that. We're not going to do that. So they're looking for different ideas. We went to a gender reveal party, and I had never been to one of those. When I was a kid, that never happened. I mean, yeah. nobody. Oh, do you no. ever remember that? No. I mean, people would ask you, what is it? And you'd tell them if you found out. But like, hey, it's a party. Yeah. <laughs> so, but the first time and only one that I've ever been to... Uh, it was a neat little party. It was a fun party. And the gender re- reveal part was like a tiny, tiny, tiny part of it. So really, uh, hubby, it's just a party. It's a chance for you and your friends to get together. And if mama, the one who's expecting, is saying, hey, I'd like to have a party and do a little get together, I think that's a cool idea. Something that I will share, uh, recently, the company Jones Soda. Yes, they started doing something I think is kind of cool where they have like people doing gender reveal bottles and they had sent me a thing a while ago about this and I I actually we got some bottles sent to us I posted and they're really cool and like two weeks ago I think is when I posted them on our Facebook page but I'll post it again it's just really really cool they're really cool so there's an idea that's one of the things that they're doing and again I'll throw all that info in, in the show notes to make it easy to find But uh, if you have ideas, we would love for you to chime in and share. Here's some things that I will caution against. Um, There have been numerous fires that have gotten Uh, out of control. Yeah, that's what I was just going to say. Don't light anything on fire. Because, uh, and and again, that's one where it was probably the guy in charge of planning this (laughs) dinner. Like, okay, here's what we're going to do. Going to get some tannerite. We're going to blow something up. And then if it's blue smoke, it's this. If it's pink smoke, it's that. Uh, but and it's usually out of control yeah. and, and if the it's whole, a problem and so. if the whole neighborhood burns down right. we're in trouble so don't do those kind of things i think that's a bad idea and uh, again if your husband doesn't want to do the party at the end of the day i wouldn't don't do, do it the party because i think it would be a bad idea for you guys to not be on the same page i agree completely but, but i also agree i she's saying on here that i think he just kind of dislikes that that that's you know, that's what they've done. And it, it sounds like, you know, maybe it's time for something new. So if you've got some fun ideas, and I know there are some really cool gender reveal parties that have happened. If you've got some neat ideas, like I said, I'll share the I shared the one, uh, the Jones Soda, the company. And it wasn't a gender reveal party, but the, they did some bottles for the John and Heidi show. So yeah. there's like, we have some sitting in our studio right now. There's bottles with Heidi's face on it. Yes, there are. And, and with yours. my face on it. Yes, and now I'm afraid to drink them because I'm like, well, I want to keep them forever and ever. But we just had a, a <laughs> well, friend. That's just it. Now we've got all of them yeah. sitting here. It's like, well, now we're afraid to. Well, and a friend of ours was over yesterday and he actually had one because yeah. he's like, where? Well, you can have that. And I'm, I'm watching as he's taking it. And I'm like, don't you dare waste a drop. It's got my face on it. Uh, I think that's really kind of cool. And again, like I said, we'll throw a link to make that easy to find. But if you have advice that you could share, I know that this young lady would appreciate it. You can chime in at facebook.com slash John and Heidi show. What a year. With prices on everything going up, it's more important than ever to have a better credit card. Some people use a credit card that's not a very good one. At bettercreditcards.com, we offer a variety of credit card options to fit your needs. Whether you want a card to give you cash back or points and perks or a credit card to help you build your credit. We probably have it at Better Credit Cards 
BetterCreditCards.com. Give yourself a little credit. BetterCreditCards.com. That's BetterCreditCards.com. Fun fact for you, Heidi. What's that, John? The stickers on fruit are edible. Really? No, yeah. they're not. Yeah, they are. And the glue is FDA approved as well. So if you ever happen to accidentally eat a sticker that's on an apple or a banana or whatever, <laughs> it's okay. They're all edible. I don't know about bananas because you peel a banana, but who knows? Fun fact for you, Heidi. What's up, John? Apples are part of the rose family. Huh. I did not know that. Nor did I. Fun fact for you, Heidi. What's that, John? If you are feeling nervous, chew gum. Your brain will reason that you're not in danger because you wouldn't be eating if you were in danger. So your brain turns wow. off the worry because, hey, we're all good now. Oh, interesting. Fascinating. And our final fun fact for you, Heidi. What's that, John? Oh, I was going to say, I thought maybe you'd just leave me over here. <laughs> uh, the, the man with the world's deepest voice can make sounds that humans cannot hear, but elephants can hear. Oh, All right. That's well, super. it's going to come in real handy for something, I'm sure. <laughs> Several fun facts. Now you know. Thanks for listening to The John and Heidi Show. Did you know you can allocate a percentage of your IRA to physical gold and silver with a tax-free rollover? You can put your IRA back on the gold standard. Genesis Gold IRA is the only IRA that can hold physical precious metals. Call now for your free gold and silver report and learn how to qualify for up to $10,000 in free silver. GenesisGoldIRA.com would like to help protect your IRA today with a simple phone call. Learn more and get the phone number at GenesisGoldIRA.com. That's GenesisGoldIRA.com. Time now for the Mint Mobile question of the day. It comes your way, courtesy of Mintervention.com. Question, Heidi. In a survey, one in four families say there's an argument every week over this chore. What is this chore? Oh, unloading the dishwasher. No, mowing the lawn. Okay. Yeah, apparently that's a big chore. Mint Mobile question of the day comes your way, courtesy of Mintervention.com. How much do you pay for your cell phone every month? If it's more than 15 bucks, it's time for a Mintervention. Mint Mobile makes it affordable and easy to switch. Get a new phone or bring in your current phone. iPhones and Samsung phones both work well with Mint Mobile. At Mintervention.com, you can see the current special offers from Mint Mobile, offering premium wireless for just $15 a month. That's far less than most people are paying, just $15 a month. Learn more now at Mintervention.com. That's Mintervention.com. Now some weird news brought to you by WeirdGiftOfTheDay.com. A peculiar burglary captured on camera shows a man stealing a box of cupcakes from a bakery in Vancouver. But first, he tidied up the mess that he made while breaking in. Security footage from Sweet Something (laughs) shows a man kicking in the bakery's glass door. After hanging around inside for a half hour, he's then seen mopping up the broken glass... Oh, and that's then interesting. grabbing a box of six cupcakes before leaving. The bakery owner called it a true Canadian break-in. He's <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, I'm going to just tidy up. I made a bit of a mess while I was, you know, burglarizing this bakery. So I wonder why in nice. the world. Is that just bizarre? <laughs> yeah. Broke into the bakery, hung out for a half hour, and then tidied up and took six donuts when he left. Or six cupcakes. Huh. So, I don't know, it's... It's bizarre. That's why it's today's weird news. Brought to you by WeirdGiftOfTheDay.com. John and Heidi. Time now for the list. Brought to you by BetterCreditCards.com. The best golfers of all time. So this is from uh, several different golf-oriented websites. Uh, the best golfers of all time. The top five. Sam Sneed is number five. Number okay. four, Walter Hagen. Number three, Ben Hogan. Number two, yep, ben Hogan. Tiger Woods. And number one, Jack Nicholas. Yeah. Golden Bear. 73 victories in his career. Wow. Uh, now, I also have the list of the top five female go- golfers uh, from the LPGA. Uh, number five, Babe Diedrichsen Zacharias. Okay. Number four, Patty Berg. Number three, Kathy Whitworth. Number two, Mickey Wright. And the number one best female golfer in the world is Annika Sorenstam, 72 okay. LPGA wins. So there not you go. Not as familiar with those names as I'm not a I golfer. am with the guy so names. I but. don't know any. I know two names on both of the lists. Yeah, I'm all <laughs> up, and I know Tiger Woods and Jack Nicholas. I met Jack Nicholas. Nice guy. 
Uh, but yeah, I don't know any of the others, but I'm not a golfer, so that's that's my problem. <laughs> the list brought to you by bettercreditcards.com. Insurancechicken.com wants to know how much are you paying for your insurance? I know it seems like a hassle to switch to a different company, but if you can save a few bucks, 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 it's worth crossing the road to insurancechicken.com. We have several of the top insurance companies trying to earn your business. They do that by offering great insurance that is cheap, cheap, cheap. Okay, enough of the silly chicken. And puns. It's time to get serious about saving you money on your insurance at insurancechicken.com. That's insurancechicken.com. Time now for the quote of the day. It comes your way, courtesy of insurancechicken.com. Quote is from Lana Turner, who says, A successful man is one who makes more money than his wife can spend. A successful woman is one who can find such a man. (laughs) (laughs) I like that. I used to work with a guy, and I remember he said, he was talking about uh, another person that we worked with, and he said, if he made $6 million, his wife would spend $7 million. And I just remember thinking how awful that would be. Yeah. I'm like, my wife, That's going to be very stressful. Heidi over here, she's very frugal. I'm extremely and, and she's proud of it. And she's telling people like, oh, that is amazing. That was only so five I for, bucks. Yeah, I got this for five dollars. <laughs> Quote of the day comes your way, courtesy of insurancechicken.com. John and Heidi. This portion of the John and Heidi Show is brought to you by the John and Heidi Show. That sounds kind of funny, but it's true. Go to your local radio station and ask them to start carrying the John and Heidi Show. Here's the best part. They can carry the show for free. They play a couple commercials, but it doesn't cost them anything every month. So if you know a radio station that could use a little bit of help, send them our way. Send them to johnandheidyshow.com. Again, johnandheidyshow.com. We would love to do a radio program in your community. Then you could listen to the podcast and listen to us on the radio. John and Heidi. We always like to wrap things up around here with good news. And I think this is good news. Comes your way courtesy of Genesis Gold IRA.com. Local police officers go above and beyond to help a young man celebrate his birthday. I love these kind of stories, don't you? I love these stories, and it's so sad that all of these have to happen so often. Yeah, a young boy in Maine got an unforgettable birthday. But a month ago, Miles Roman went to the police department and dropped off an invitation to his birthday party. He dropped off an invitation inviting in the thing, in the cart, the entire police department to his birthday party. They wrote on Facebook, Miles' mother told us how excited Miles was to have special guests come to his party. So, of course, we couldn't let him down. Several officers, including the canine, Tucker, uh, as well as members of the fire department, they were also invited, uh, attended this celebration. This is really, really cool. And his his, uh, birthday cake has a fire truck on it and a police car on it. I thought this was going to be one of those stories where nobody showed up at no. his party and so the officers. So that's really cool that they just went just yeah. to go. Miles and his friends were excited to see the police cars and fire trucks and ambulance and obviously K-9 Tucker. Uh, it says they, they showed up with some gifts as well. They gave him all kinds of cool that's police cool. department swag for him and for his friends. Uh, the police department also gave Miles a tour of the station. And ever since he was just a little boy, he said he wants to be a police officer, according Aww. to his mother. So I love that. And I'll tell you, when I was a little boy, my dad was a police officer. And I've got uh, brother-in-laws that are police officers. So we're big fans of police officers. But that is a job I don't think I could personally do. I just don't think I could do it. And, it's and tough. hats off to those of you who yep, do. It's I tough. mean, uh, it, would be, it would be a really, really, it's, it takes a special person. And uh, there's some amazing people that are that are behind those badges out there. So these guys, I think they they represented themselves very well. I agree. Showing up and making the day for this little dude. Beautiful Time, story. Yes. Time to say goodbye, Heidi. Goodbye, Heidi. Goodbye, everybody. Have a great day. Thank you for listening to the John and Heidi Show.